In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a teleop op mode that controls a robot using a gamepad's buttons. Configure your robot as you did in the moving forward and backward tutorial. Start by creating a new op mode named Gamepad A. Because we are creating a teleop op mode, we leave teleop as the setting in the drop down at the top. Reverse one of the motors just as you did in the moving forward and backward tutorial. Now we can create the code that will be executed when the run button is pressed. We want the robot to move forward when we press the A button and stop when it is not pressed. To do this, we use an if do else block. Select logic and then drag an if do else block into the while loop. An if do else block does one thing when a condition is true and another when it is false. The condition we'll use is the status of the gamepad's A button. Select gamepad and drag the gamepad1.a block into the if condition. We want the motors to be at full power when the button is pushed, so we set both power levels to 1 inside of the if statement. We want the motors to stop when the button is not pushed, so we set both power levels to 0 inside of the else block. Save and run your op mode. To ensure that your gamepad is connected to your driver station phone, simultaneously press Start and A on the gamepad. Then start your op mode. You will see that when we press A, the robot begins moving, and when we release the button, it stops.